In the 1970s, astronomers made a mind-boggling discovery while studying space, the afterglow of the universe's birth. Brace yourselves, because here's the kicker. Our entire galaxy, along with everything in it, including you and me, is hurtling through the universe at an astonishing 390 miles per second. Wrap your mind around that for a moment, but hold on to your seats, because the mystery only deepens from there. While some of our velocity can be attributed to the universe's expansion and gravitational interactions with neighboring galaxies, there's something else at play. A vast, unseen force pulling us towards it. Cue the eerie music, because we've entered the realm of the Great Attractor. Imagine every galaxy in our neighborhood, over 100,000 of them, spanning more than 500 million light years, being inexorably drawn towards this enigmatic entity. It's enough to send shivers down your spine. Join us as we unravel the mysteries of the Great Attractor and speculate about what lies beyond the veil. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join us on this epic journey through space. In the vast expanse of the cosmos, one powerful force reigns supreme, gravity. This force, born from mass, pulls objects together with irresistible strength, shaping the dance of the stars and galaxies. But imagine a force so immense that it can sway not just one or two, but a staggering 100,000 galaxies across distances spanning hundreds of millions of light years. That's the power of the Great Attractor. But what exactly is it? And what does its gravitational grip mean for our fate? Let's dive into the mystery and uncover the secrets that lie within. When it comes to unraveling the mysteries of space, our go-to method is to aim our telescopes and take a closer peek. However, delving into the secrets of the Great Attractor turned out to be a different kind of challenge for astronomers. Their usual telescopic sleuthing just didn't cut it this time. Our home galaxy, the Milky Way, spans about 100,000 light years across and hosts around 100 billion stars, all arranged along a thick plane about 1,000 light years wide. But here's the kicker. It seems whoever crafted this galactic masterpiece left quite a mess behind. You see, when we try to peek into the depths of space from within our galaxy's plane, we're met with a dense haze of interstellar dust and gas. This clutter creates a celestial blind spot known as the Zone of Avoidance, blocking our view of roughly 10% of the universe. And guess what? Right in the heart of this obscured region lies the enigmatic Great Attractor. For many decades after stumbling upon the Great Attractor, its secrets eluded us. We were left with nothing but indirect clues, like measuring how it tugged on the galaxies nearby through its immense gravitational pull. It wasn't the most straightforward approach, but it did give us a rough idea of where to find it, somewhere between 150 and 250 million light years away, toward the Norma constellation. And with that, we began to grasp the sheer magnitude of this cosmic giant for the very first time. Our latest calculations tell us that the Great Attractor holds a mass equal to a mind-blowing 10 quadrillion suns. Wrap your head around that for a moment. Nothing else out there even comes close to matching its size. To put it in perspective, the largest known entity we've come across, Tun 618, is an ultra-massive black hole. It's so unbelievably massive that sometimes I wonder if those clever astronomers just invented it to mess with us. This colossal black hole spans nearly 250 billion miles and fuels a quasar that blazes with the radiance of 140 trillion suns. It could very well be the largest entity ever to grace the cosmos, a breathtaking yet fearsome embodiment of oblivion. And yet, despite its immense proportions, it weighs in at a mere 66 billion solar masses. Impressive for a black hole, no doubt, but still a staggering 150,000 times lighter than the Great Attractor. Interestingly, scientists may have stumbled upon an even larger ultra-massive black hole, Phoenix A, boasting around 100 billion solar masses, 
though there's still some contention regarding its actual size. Regardless, whether it's Ton 618 or Phoenix A that takes the crown, the mystery persists. If even these titans of the cosmos fall short of explaining the gravitational pull of the great attractor, then what in the universe could possibly suffice? This is usually the part of the video where I'd leave you hanging, saying we're clueless for now. But guess what? This time we've got something. Remember how I mentioned that regular telescopes couldn't cut it when it came to studying the great attractor? Well, we've got more tricks up our sleeves. In the four decades since its discovery, we've ramped up our game with radio and infrared telescopes. Thanks to these new tools, we've finally managed to peek through the dust clouds of the zone of avoidance and catch a glimpse of the elusive great attractor, revealing its colossal presence for the very first time. So, what's the big reveal? The universe's heaviest black hole or some mind-blowing alien creation? Nope, not even close. What we discovered was, drumroll, please, more galaxies. Yeah, I know, it's not as flashy as a universe's superweapon or a megastructure, but bear with me. Getting a peek beyond the zone of avoidance gave us a clearer picture of what the Great Attractor truly is. And spoiler alert, it's not just some lone behemoth lurking out there. All right, buckle up for a history lesson. Let's rewind all the way back to the beginning of time. You might think the universe is just a haphazard collection of galaxies scattered willy-nilly, but it's actually got a structure, a big one. Picture this, way back when the early universe wasn't all smooth sailing. Nope, it was filled with tiny bumps and divots in matter distribution. Where there was more stuff, gravity pulled even more stuff towards it, creating denser regions over time. It's like the universe's version of the rich getting richer. Meanwhile, the less stuff-filled areas got even emptier. And voila! Over billions of years, gravity did its thing, moulding the universe into the spectacular show we see today, with galaxies clustering together in some spots and vast voids stretching out in others. At the top, you've got stars forming galaxies. These galaxies cosy up together to create galaxy groups and clusters. And guess what? These groups and clusters, they're team players too. They band together to form super clusters. Now zoom in on our little corner of the universe. Our star, it's part of the Milky Way. But wait, there's more. Can you believe it? The Milky Way is just one tiny speck in a neighborhood of around 40 galaxies, all hanging out in what we call the local group. And that's just the beginning. Zoom out a bit and you'll find yourself in the midst of a whopping 100 galaxy groups and clusters forming the colossal Virgo supercluster. But hold on to your helmets because there's more. Beyond the Virgo supercluster lies the granddaddy of them all, the Lania Kia supercluster. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for future adventures in space science.